Yeah, we, we travelled well, so um, obviously it's, it's a bit of a spin down to down to this part of the world, but everything went off very well. Um, we got to the hotel yesterday afternoon and we've uh, just been resting up and we got out and had a hit on the pitch there earlier on and uh, that went well. The boys are fresh, they're in good spirits, so all, all good so far. Ah, look, the boys are um, they're very good pros. We have a lot of good people here in terms of uh, strength and conditioners and uh, nutritionists. And um, they put in place, you know, hydration plans and, and stuff like that, food plans for the boys. So, look, um, it's, it's the way of the world now. It's what, what we do in, in, the, in terms of the game at the moment and the URC. So, no, we, we've been good that, in that area and um, no, it's gone off very well. So, no, no complaints or, or no negative comments on that. Yeah, a huge challenge. Obviously, they're a, a really, really good side. Um, you know, we had a good performance against Glasgow, another good performance against Leinster. You know, a lot of it is about getting our own stuff right and, and how we're going to, to to do our jobs and do them well and, and you know, implement the plan that we want to, to, to put it in place. And look, a team like the Stormers, they've, they've got so many threats right across the pitch. You look at their, their scrum, their mall game, their, their power game, you know, their, their speed across the pitch in terms of you know how many quick players they have and a skill set to, to move the ball very quickly. So these, this is a, an excellent team, obviously a team playing the champions. So we're very, we're very cognizant of that. But I think the, the main thing is that we get our, the controllables and, and ourselves right. That's the key point for us. We have to be very calm in terms of how we hold on to the ball. Um, you know we don't want to be creating um, fractured play, transitional play. They're just very, very good in terms of those first three phases when the when when the transition happens. And how, trying to control that through keeping possession is important. Our kicking game will be important, and our speed across the pitch, I suppose, to on the transitions to get in place um, is something that we've spoken about. So, our our own calmness and how we control things will be really, really important. Look, obviously, with players like Yankees and and Lebach and Vilimsa. You know, rules. You know, they just roll off the tongue, don't they? They've got so much uh, ability across their, their their team. They're a team that we, we we've admired for a while, and I've watched them. You know, um, in many games, and the, the brand of rugby they can play is, is very exciting. So, a great challenge for us, uh, and that's the way we view it. It's a great challenge, and um, I suppose how we implement our game plan and how we control the speed of ball, the time of the tackle. They're the sort of things that we'll discuss. Yeah, it's just it's about controlling the week, I suppose, as best you can. And obviously, there's a, there's a lot of interest in the game. There's a lot of um, phone calls and and questions from from friends and family, and obviously the out, outside interest in terms of media and the eyes. You feel like the the eyes of the rugby world are on you, and there is, there is that. But it's again, it's about controlling the process, uh, what you need to do in the week, how you prepare, getting all those little bits and pieces right, um, and controlling that just so it allows you to be calm and to, to control those moments in the game and that's that's the big thing in terms of what we want to do. We want to, we want to, I suppose, be calm and, and control the little bits and pieces that we can control and then set ourselves up as best we can to put in a big performance which is going to be needed. Yeah, it would be very special obviously. It's, it's been a while, um, you know, it's been a number of years. So look, it, it, it's great to be, first and foremost, it's great to be in a final and, and, and of, a, of such a, a really good competition like the URC. Um, again, look, I suppose being part of these final days as, as a player and as a coach over the years, you can't look too far ahead. It's all about you know your preparation during the week, getting all the little bits and pieces right, and then obviously the performance on the day. So um, we can't, while, while you know, I suppose it's, it, it, it's always... Um, it's always in the back of your mind to win it would be great but it's all about the performance and the process that goes with it and that's something we're very focused on for, the, for now anyway I just belief massive belief we've been speaking about belief since the start of the season I think it's one of the big things Graham um, was always you know he was always beaten down into us and you know always emphasising his just belief um, and I think that's something we've developed obviously over the course of the season because at the start of the season, we were talking about belief in the process, um, and obviously, you know, five out of seven in the first seven rounds is not is not really great. But we kept belief in the process. We didn't we didn't try and reinvent the wheel. You know, after things didn't go well, we stick we, we stuck to what we were what our coaching coaching staff were coaching, and you know what we were envisioning ourselves to be as a team. And I think. 
you know, just the belief in that led to us getting to the point where we were starting to win games. And then you start gaining a belief in the team and the process. And you see that the way we're playing is leading to victories. And then on the back of those victories, you know, you start gaining this massive belief in the team and your teammates and yourself. Do you know, I, I think it all builds. And I think we're at a point now where we all have massive belief in each other, um, not just in the process, not just in, you know, our game plan, but you've got a massive belief that the fella next year is going to do his utmost best to not only perform for the team, but for you as not only a teammate, but as a mate, you know, it's, I, I, I think that's the one, been the one thing that's galvanized us, galvanized us through, you know, the season and we've been building on, on it every week, especially as you said, we've had a serious run of away games the last while. Um, I think that's been the, the one big factor that's been bringing us all together. Well, we're absolutely not in bonus territory. There's, there's nothing bonus about this. This is, this is what we play towards, you know, this is what we've been working the last 48 weeks towards. It's, it's a final, it wasn't a victory over Leinster in the semi-final. Like, in the greater scheme of things, that means absolutely nothing to us. Like, why should a victory over, a victory over Leinster in the semi-final be bigger than a victory over the reigning champions at their home ground? You've flown, what, 10,000 kilometers to come play them in front of a crowd of 50,000, 55,000 people, which of maybe 53,000 will be Storm supporters. Like, how was that overshadowed by a victory over Leinster? Look, I'm not taking anything away from the victory over Leinster. It was, obviously, it was a really big thing for us, but like, that's not the be all and end all. Like, that's not why we play. Like, Munster isn't there to beat Leinster. Munster is there to win championships. Look, we know what we have to go out and do. Um, we're very much up for the battle. So, look, we'll see what happens on Saturday. I think we're, um, we're prepping ourselves to do our best and to you know, perform at our highest level.